you being a lord in my court. Where all is it has come to our attention? It's been diverse, great effort. Well, our hosts have considerably enriched our kingdom. It is our pleasure to reward you with an award of arms. At this time, we grant you the rights and charge you with the responsibilities of this rank. We charge you to consult with our health, ourselves and our heralds to devise unique and suitable arms by our hands done this day. Well uh, the calligraphy and illumination was done by my good friend, her ladyship Penelope de Barbon. Thank you very much for everything that you do. Keep up the hard work. <laughs> His Majesty commands the presence of Leopold von Heidelberg. You are trouble now. Sorry, you had to walk so far. It's not all right. For those of you who don't know Leopold, you should get to know this man. He is one of the funniest people I know, and he will also give you the shirt off of his back. And. He has known me since my very beginnings in the SCA, and he has always been the type to lend a helping hand. And a king is no greater than the sum of all of the people who help him do the things he needs to do. And I appreciate you for that, and I would like to give you a sovereign's pleasure. Whereas the burdens of the crown, being of heavy weight, those who through service have eased that burden greatly deserve recognition. Therefore, be it known, that Be Leopold von Heidelberg has by diverse ac actions earned the sovereign's pleasure, done this day by our hand. Mm. <laughs> the calligraphy was done by Vestilia Messalina Polkuria and illuminated by Veronica DeLuca. Thank you, brother. Well. His Majesty calls forth Cordell of Phoenix Glade. <laughs> His Majesty also calls forth Sir Lex Brighthelmson. <laughs> Thought you were skipping out. <laughs> Lex, Cordell, both of you are the positive attitudes, good times, and cheer that the SCA needs. And you, in particular, very much uh, go out of your way to help people and teach and grow the SCA. And for that, I'd like to give you a guiding hand. <laughs> Patience, grace, courtesy, and chivalry are virtues that are the foundation of the society and give strength to the kingdom of Meridians. Those who instruct our newer subjects in these virtues stand high in our esteem. In recognition of your unfailing efforts and in making all thus welcome, we, the sovereign and consort of Meridians, are pleased to bestow upon you, Cordella Phoenix Glade, therefore the order of the guiding hand. By our hands, done this day. The white work was done by Isabella Du Bois and the calligraphy by Veronica De Luca. <laughs> and because I can't find your daughter at any event recently, <coughs> does anyone here not know who Erin is? <laughs> she is a wonderful courteous, chivalrous young woman, and she is always helping a hand, or lending a hand, helping with little kids, and she is wise beyond her years. You have got a fireball, <laughs> my friend. And a 45. <laughs> <laughs> a lot more. 
<laughs> and the SCA needs more kids like her, and uh, you should be very proud. I would like to give her a signet, and I would trust you to take it to her. Thank you very much. May all know that Aaron Breithelmsen has faithfully served Meridiers and demonstrated the noble qualities of courtesy, courtesy behavior. We, Adamar and Alina, Sovereign and Consort Meridiers, hereby elevate them unto the order of the signet, charging further growth and service to Meridiers. Done this 28th of May, and the 1951, the 2016 Gregorian. Adamar, Ro, Elena, Reina. Camp Grandma. <laughs> As you know, it, it really breaks my heart. I can't give this to her in person. So give her lots of extra hell for me for not being here. And chores. Yes, and chores. Chores are good. <laughs> they build character. They do. <clears throat> the, this scroll, the illumination, was done by uh, Sharita K. et Aluida and the calligraphy by Mara Palmer. <laughs> Send her my best. Thank you. Summon the noble members of our Order of the Chivalry. <laughs> well, I had a script. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's try this this way. I got, I got one, Your Majesty. We can phone. share. His Majesty calls forth the Order of the Chivalry. The strength and stability of the kingdom lie in these virtues of its people. Creativity, service, and chivalry. For if any of these are lacking, the kingdom fails. The, the warriors of the kingdom defend it with their swords and with their honor bring glory to the field. Your Majesties call forth the Knights of the Society. <coughs> Noble sirs, good knights of Meridiers, your highness. It is your judgment that Cale Peterson is worthy to be numbered among our chivalry in prowess, loyalty, and courtesy. Sir Gunnar. Aye, Gunnar Eisanger. We'll speak for Cale. Those who know me may know that I don't do a lot of public speaking. Mainly do a lot of shenanigans. <laughs> I've known Kale since he began. I remember him coming out, working with him, fighting with him. And I could go into detail about how his prowess in the field has just come along so greatly. I mean, stepping out there, seeing him on the field, and thinking, oh, crap, really? I mean, if you face him on the field, you've had those thoughts. But I don't need to talk about his prowess. That speaks for itself. What I'd like to talk about is this man's heart. He is one of the kindest, gentlest giants I've met. This man would literally give you the shirt off his back. I've seen him take newcomers, offer his own armor for them just to try the first chance to go out there and swing a stick at somebody. I've seen him lend a hand in helping those who couldn't carry their feast gear, couldn't set up their tent. This man has such passion and love in his heart for what we do. He helps breed that fire, that passion into others. He passes it on. He inspires me. My lords, my ladies, your majesties, your highness. This man, he's my brother. He's my peer, and I love him dearly. Thank you, Gunnar.
we call forth the steersmen, feeder veagles, whose black song freezes the blood of our enemies. We call him forth whose grindles reach, hued with battle sweat, has sent many to travel hell's road. Fire beater, shield nar, Jotun kin, we summon you. Kael Vidersen, who join your brothers of the sword. <coughs> Kale, is it still your wish to accept the accolade of knighthood this day? <coughs> Who would speak to the candidate's qualifications for this estate? Is there a pelican? With your will, connect. I'm worse than Cody. I don't public speak at all. <laughs> you all know he smiles. All the time. When you ask him for help, the smile is bigger. When he is asked to teach, the smile is bigger. The STA is what he loves. In anything, he is asked to do. This man is my peer. Is there a Laurel who would speak for this man? The might of this man's sword arm is only matched by the skill of his hammer. He is my friend, brother, and my peer. Is there a royal peer who would speak for this man? Kale Vidarsson is a good man. He's brave, he's courageous, he's loyal, he's a thoughtful man, he's compassionate, he's generous. He's a young man, he's a son of Meridiers, and while he may lack the wisdom of age, there are many, many people here, good and true, who will guide him. He is a man, Your Majesty, worthy of the recognition he is to receive today. And I am very proud to call him my friend and my peer. Thank you. Is there a member of the populace who would speak for Kale? Yes, Your Majesty. <coughs> for this station having been made clear, 
Please bring forward the Spurs. <coughs> the Spurs bear with them great symbolism, as do many trappings of knighthood. I wear my Spurs with pride and I hope to honor them each day as every knight here does. We place these Spurs on your feet now, Kale. In respect of that symbolism, in respect of the honors that these spurs represent. The spurs symbolize a bond of nobility and the populace. For when it comes time to defend that populace, may these be the spurs to spur you into action. Action and right deed. May these spurs never be hacked from your feet in shame. Let the belt be brought forward. Could you rise for this? I can still reach you. <laughs> <laughs> this is the most outward traffic of your new station. By this, everyone will recognize you as a peer of the realm, as a peer of Meridius. Always remember this. We know you won't bring shame to us. But with this, you can take credit for all the good things that you do. <laughs> There's a weight loss goal on your belt. <laughs> the belt represents the unity of the chivalry. The white color reminds the knight to be ever faithful in his duties, to be pure of heart, and to be respectful in his actions. The belt harkens back to the ancient days of the Order of the Garter, whose motto, dishonor on him who thinks ill of it, speaks as a reminder of the knight to remain ever honorable in his actions and his deeds. Let the sword be brought forward. Here it is, Your Majesty. The sword of a knight. It has two edges, one for each of them. It represents mercy and justice. May you ever wield it in defense of the people of Meridia. And may it ever strike down the enemies of Meridia and those who would subject those people to harm. Let the knight's chain, made of gold, be brought forward. This chain was given to me by Richard Rafen, who had made it with his own hands, and now I give it to you. The chain of gold, purest of the metals, to signify the purity of the fealty, which binds the knight and his sovereign to one another. The chain is weighty to remind the knight of the heavy responsibility he bears. The chain is unique to this, as a symbol of the Knights of the Society. And as such, it is the badge of the Order, just as our forefathers have used the fleece, garter, star, and cross to signify knightly orders. Right mindful of your prowess upon the field, Kale, and responsive to the wishes of your peers, Alina and I are minded to create you a member of the Order of the Chivalry. Will you accept from us this honor and will you swear fealty to this, our crown and throne of the kingdom of Meridius? Get back up just a step. I would like to take this moment to show you something that your brothers and myself meant for this sword. I would like to use this sword for your dubbing, Svinvar. We'd like to read the 
translation of the runes that are on this sword. Is it upside down? Yes. <laughs> Cattle die, kinsmen die, every man is mortal, but no, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> but, but the good name never dies of one who has done well. Kale, this sword is sharp with two edges, and it is heavy for the weight that you carry as a knight. Your knight and I would like to dub you with the accolade of knighthood. We dub you once. We dub you twice. Carefully, I dub you thrice. <laughs> May this sword be your conviction. The path that you walk is difficult. The blade you wield is sharp and made of fine, high carbon steel. It represents both the danger and the terror that you bring to your enemies before you and the good that you can do in the name of your kingdom. Is it your wish to now take the oath of fealty and accept the accolade of knighthood? Please. Can you remove your chain? Like you rip it over the sword. <laughs> Kale, do you need prompting? Maybe a little bit. All right. All right. Kale, Anderson. Sorry, if you listen to the the crowd. I, Adamar, King of Merdiers, <coughs> hear and shall not forget nor fail to reward the oath that you have given, your promise of valor and oath-breaking with vengeance. Rise. The last part of the ceremony before you become a knight of Merdiers is the last blow you take unavenged. Are you ready? Yes. No milk crate? It's my absolute honor to get to do this for you. And I look forward to the years that you spend as a knight growing and shaping the future of Merchant.